Okay, week eight, part two of Math 205, chapter 16, calculations for special populations. These populations include pediatric and geriatric patients. Be careful with your infant weights. Eight pounds, six ounces does not mean 8.6 pounds. Six ounces would have to be converted to pounds, then added to the eight before you convert the whole thing to kilograms. Six ounces, your conversion factor, one pound for every 16 ounces, is 0.375 pounds. So eight pounds plus 0.375 pounds is 8.375 pounds. Then we convert that 8.375 pounds to kilograms using our conversion factor, and we get approximately 3.8 kilograms. So an order that reads eight milligram per kilogram every six hours means that over the course of a day, you're gonna administer eight milligrams for every kilogram of body weight. Because it's every six hours, that means it's gonna happen four times a day. So a patient who weighs 22 pounds, convert that to kilograms, eight milligrams for every one kilogram So it's eight milligrams per kilogram. So you can easily multiply that by 10 and get 80 milligrams of drug every six hours. Because think about it, if it's eight milligrams for one, you're gonna do that 10 times because you have 10, milli or 10 kilograms. So that's 80 milligrams of drug every six hours, four times a day at six hour intervals. So you could, calcula you could calculate how many milligrams per day this is. If it's eight milligrams four times a day, that's 320 milligrams per day of this drug. So here you're just calculating D. D is based on body weight. I call this a weight-based order because the doctor is not blatantly saying how much drug to give. He's telling you an amount of drug per an amount per body weight and then you have to figure out how much drug so we don't we can't yet calculate how much to administer because we don't know what we have on hand all we know is 80 milligrams per dose would be our d so your basic steps are to convert your body weight if needed uh, be careful because sometimes it will be given to you as kilograms so you have to look for these de details. Uh, body weight, if there's no policy in your facility, we usually round it to the 10th. So then you have to calculate D based on the body weight. So you take whatever weight-based order, either grams per kilogram, milligram per kilogram, microgram per kilogram, and multiply it by the kilogram. Then you want to check your label, make sure it's safe, calculate the amount to minister based on what you have on hand. So an example, three-year-old weighing 34 pounds, order hyacyamine sulfate, five micrograms per kilogram, subcutaneous one hour pre-anesthesia. On hand, hyacyamine sulfate, 0.5 milligrams per milliliter. Based on the physician's desk reference, five microgram per kilogram is a recommended dose for a child over two years old. So convert the weight, 34 pounds. Use, you can use dimensional analysis, proportion, whichever method you prefer, 15.5 kilograms. So now we calculate D. The order is five micrograms per kilogram multiplied by 15.5 kilograms and that gives us 77.5 micrograms. Uh, we'll round that to 78 micrograms. This order is safe because at the order is actually the same as the recommended. So we're doing 78 micrograms of drug. That's your D. On hand, we have 0.5 milligrams per milliliter. So notice D is in micrograms, but H is in milligrams. 
So we'll convert D to H to convert a microgram to a milligram. You can either use the number line. You're going back one hop, so that's three decimal places, or divide by a thousand. Or use your dimensional analysis, 78 micrograms over one times the conversion factor for milligram to microgram is one to 1,000. And you get 0 0.078 milligrams. So D that we're going to use in our formula is 0 0.078 milligrams. That's your D. Your H is 0.5 milligrams. Your Q is 1 milliliter. Do your division, multiplication. So we are going to administer 0 0.156 milliliters, which we round to 0 0.16 milliliters. So this is this amount we're administering is less than a milliliter. So we're probably going to use a tuberculin syringe, which we can measure up to the hundredth place. So if we administer 0 0.16 milliliters of the liquid we have, this will deliver 78 micrograms of drug into the patient. Okay, ensuring safe dosages. So orders might be written differently. Um, you have to check the order, the dose that's ordered to make sure it is standard or safe. And to do this, uh, you need to compare, you're going to need to use the weight because your um, recommended ranges are usually based on weight. So this is not a weight based order, it's a regular order, but you have to check to see if it is within a weight based range. So you will be given D in this case. <coughs> Excuse me, you'll have to use the weight to check the safe range. So, convert the body weight if needed, convert the date dose ordered because normally it's given to you as a single dose, you have to convert it to the daily amount because the safe range is usually given to you as a daily range and you can't compare a single dose to a daily range, you can only compare a daily dose to a daily range. Check your recommended range, calculate the minimum and maximum. If the dose ordered is within the safe range, go ahead and calculate the amount to minister. If it's not, you have to contact the prescriber. So we have a child that weighs 14 and a half kilograms, already given to us in kilograms. Uh, the order, Amoxyl, 175 milligrams by mouth every eight hours. So as soon as you see that every eight hours, you should think, okay, that's three times a day. On hand, Amoxyl 200 milligrams per 5 milliliters. The usual dose, 20 to 40 milligram per kilogram per day. So your single order is 175 milligrams per dose. <clears throat> you have to change that to a daily dose. So it's 175 milligrams per dose, three times a day, that's 575 milligrams per day. So now you have to use the weight to see if this range, to see what this minimum maximum range is. <clears throat> the weight is 14 and a half kilograms. So the minimum is 20 milligrams per kilogram per day. 20 milligram per kilogram times 14 and a half kilograms is 295 or 290 milligrams per day. The maximum per day is 40 milligram per kilogram. 40 milligram per kilogram times 14 and a half kilograms is 580 milligrams per day. So this child is okay to receive between 290 to 580 milligrams per day. This order, 175, three times a day is 575 milligrams per day which 575 is between 290 and 580, so this order is safe. Therefore, we can go ahead and calculate the amount to administer. Now, the amount to administer goes back to the regular 175 milligrams over 200 milligrams times 5 milliliters, 
when you're calculating the amount to administer, it's the single notice amount that you're calculating. You're not going to calculate the daily amount. You're going to calculate the single dose amount because you will only administer one dose at a time. So D, 175 milligrams, H, 200 milligrams, Q, 5 milliliters, 4.375, round to 4.4 milliliters. So you're going to administer 4.4 milliliters every 8 hours. Okay, so our next order is for a 3-day-old infant that weighs 6 pounds, 5 ounces. <clears throat> uh, Nebsen, 5 milligrams intramuscularly every 12 hours, so you should think to yourself twice a day. On hand, Nebsen multi-dose vial, 20 milligrams per 2 milliliters, according to the package insert. Premature or full-term neonate up to 1 week old may be administered up to 4 milligram per kilogram per day in two equal doses every 12 hours. So basically they're saying you're going to do 4 milligram per kilogram per day twice a day, two equal doses. First you want to convert the weight and then 6, six pounds 5 ounces is not 6.5 pounds. You have to convert that ounce to pound, which is 0.3125, add it to the 6, so you have 6.3125 pounds. Then you convert that to kilograms, round it to the 10th, so 2.9 kilograms. Now we convert the order to a daily amount. The child is being ordered 5 milligrams twice a day every 12 hours so you think to yourself every 12 hours you can either say twice a day or use dimensional analysis there's 24 hours per day so that gives you 10 milligrams a day <clears throat> now the recommendation up to 4 milligram per kilogram per day means 0 to 4 so if if what is prescribed is below the recommended dose it's fine in this instance. So the recommended minimum is zero. The recommended maximum, four milligram per kilogram times two kilograms, is 11.6 milligrams per day. Because remember that four milligrams was per day. So this child can receive anywhere between zero and 11.6 milligrams per day. So we already calculated how much the child's going to receive a day. If we follow this order, the child will receive 10 milligrams per day, which is below the maximum and in this case is safe. So we can go ahead and calculate how much to administer and that's back to per dose. So we're not going to use the 10 milligram daily order that we calculated. We're going to go back to the 5 milligram single dose that was ordered. 5 milligrams over the 20 milligrams times the 2 milliliters is half a milliliter. So we're going to administer half a milliliter twice a day or half a milliliter every 12 hours. <clears throat>